Commonwealth Games champion Rashid Broadbell romped to a world-leading and career-best 12.94 to win his first national 110M hurdles title on the final day of the Jamaican Championships on Sunday. Broadbell held off the challenge of fast-finishing Olympic champion Hansla Parchment, 13.12, and Orlando Bennett, 13.19, and was not surprised by his time. I've been doing some work in training, running some fast times, so this is not surprising, the 22-year-old told Reuters, adding that he was still building up to the World Championships in August. It's good to see that I can run a personal best here. Even though I'm not really ready as yet, it's just work in progress, and things should get better going into Budapest. Two days after blazing to a world-leading 10.65 to win the women's 100M crown, Sherika Jackson clocked an impressive 21.71 to win the 200M finishing ahead of five-time 100M world champion Shelly Ann Fraser-Price, 22.26. I think the focus was really on the 100M at these championships, but coach wanted me to run a couple 200S, and I ran a season best here with 21.7, so I can't complain. With a career best of 21.45 at the world championships last year, Jackson said she was not focused on breaking Florence Griffith Joyner's world record of 21.34 set in 1988. Once I'm having fun, once I'm focused on my lane and focused on me and training is going well, then anything is possible. I won't rule out any world record, she said. But I'm not one of those athletes who will focus on it at every meet, if and when it comes, it comes. Jackson added that she was still uncertain whether she will go for the 100 and 200 double at Budapest. Coach Paul Francis and I really have to make up our minds. It is still on the table but we will have to make that final decision about the sprint double at the World Championship. Andrew Hudson retained his title in the men's race in a time of 20.11 ahead of Rashid Dwyer, 20.26, and Tequendo Tracy, 20.48. World under-20 triple jump record holder Jaden Hibbert continued his impressive season with a leap of 17.68M to take his first national senior title. I was hoping for a personal best, but I've learned a lot today. I'm still young. I'm still growing in the sport the 18-year-old told readers. A lot of things happened today that never took place in the United States like the wind. It was very strong, and I've never navigated such strong winds for the year, he added. So to jump 17.68 behind the board, it's nice overall, and I'm happy for the victory. Olympic bronze medalist Megan Tapper battled through a strong headwind to win the women's 100M hurdles in 12.64 and claim her third national title. Sean Bailey won the men's 400M in 44.48, and the women's equivalent went to Nikisha Price, 50.21. Natoya Gould Toppin won her ninth national 800M title in one minute, 58.89. Thank you for staying with us until the very end. Your support and participation in our project is very important to us. We strive to provide you with up-to-date news, interesting reports, and fascinating stories. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to be informed of all new releases. We always try to surprise and inspire you with new topics and materials. See you again in the next edition of our news video.